Here, maybe I can just set it up. Okay, there we go. That works. Okay, so, you know, in order to turn on the Wii, you know, you sync your Wii mote or whatever, right? And it's connected. And you get to the Wii menu. And then, in order to get to the GameCube thing, you have to use the freaking sensor bar. And my sensor bar is not working, so it's like, alright, uh, like, <laughs> what do you do, right? And basically, the, the, the convenient thing is, like, obviously the remote, it talks directly with the Wii, right? So, the way, the way the sensor bar works, this wireless sensor bar, is it emits two sources of infrared radiation. And so it's just, it's just emitting two infrared sources, and it's also talking with the Wiimote. So you, you get more accuracy with the sensor bar. But the, the, the Wiimote also talks to the Wii. And if, as long as you have two sources of infrared radiation, you know, point sources, then you're good to go. So candles are awesome, right? Because they, they are fire. And fire is infrared radiation, right? So, in order to turn on, in order to play my game just now, what I did was I lit two candles in front of my TV, and I can get the. Uh, let's see if it works. It worked before. It's just really finicky. There we go. Okay. Yep. So you can get the the remote, I guess, to t figure out what's going on with candles. It's my setting up my stream was so stupid just now. I was like, how am I gonna start it without the sensor bar working? So <laughs> I mean that was <laughs> I had to light candles. <sighs> I still think